My next guests are veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan, and they're continuing to serve their country at home and abroad. Please welcome Eric Greitens and Jake Wood. <laughs> Gentlemen, thanks for being here. Well, thanks for having us. Thanks for dressing up for Casual Wednesday. Of course. <laughs> no, I didn't get the dress code. Now, uh, Eric, uh, you are a former Rhodes Scholar, Navy SEAL, writer, photographer, and the CEO of Mission Continues. You're an author of The Heart and the Fist, The Education of a Humanitarian, The Making of a Navy SEAL, which is a New York Times bestseller. Jake, you're a former Marine, uh, uh, served in Iraq and Afghanistan, a veteran advocate and a CB CEO of Team Rubicon. You earned the Navy Marine... Core Commendation Medal, you won GQ's uh, Better Men, Better World Award, and were named a CNN Hero in 2012. Um, both of you are the subject of a new book by Time political columnist Joe Klein called Charlie Mike. Okay, what does Charlie Mike mean, and who's Charlie and who's Mike? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Charlie Mike means continue the mission. And uh, this mission for, for Jake and I started, uh, you know, when I came back from Iraq. I'd been serving there. Uh, my team was hit by a suicide truck bomb. Uh, I came back home. I went to the hospital. And you walk into a hospital. You're talking to men and women who are 19, 20, 21 years old. Uh, you ask them all, what do you want to do when you recover? And they all say to you, I want to return to my unit. Uh, now, the harsh reality was for a lot of the men and women who I was visiting that day is that they had pretty serious injuries. They were not going to be able to go back to their unit, but there was a way for them to continue their mission. And I found myself, as you, as you went around to those hospital rooms, they all hear from a lot of us, they hear, thank you. Uh, and what I found myself saying to all of them was also, we still need you. Right? We still need your strength, you still have something to offer. And we wanted to find a way for all of those veterans to come back home and to continue their missions of service here at home. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the ways that, that they can do that through mission continue? So what, what's, what's, in, what's incredible with the mission continues is that today we have over 5,000 veterans around the country, and they are out. They are working with Habitat for Humanity, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Boys and Girls Clubs. They are taking on some of the toughest problems in this country, gang violence, childhood illiteracy, childhood hunger, veteran homelessness. And when they are out serving every day, what happens is that through their service, they rebuild a sense of purpose, while at the same time helping us to build stronger communities. Now, Jake, how did you... What is Team Rubicon, and how did that get started? Yeah, so I, I came back in 2009. I, I did a tour in Iraq and a tour in Afghanistan as a scout sniper in the Marine Corps. And when I came back, I wanted to go to business school. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life, but uh, I found myself in my living room watching the, the devastation unfold after the earthquake in Port-au-Prince and wanted to get down there. Knew When I saw what was happening, I knew that I had the experiences and the skills to go and have a positive impact there. So... I, together with another Marine, William McNulty, we, we organized a team of veterans and doctors. We got down to Port-au-Prince about four I understand days. you called first. Yeah, you know, the people, these are, <laughs> so called a couple of organizations, and, and they weren't really taking spontaneous volunteers at the time. So, yeah. uh, and your response was? To hell with it. Let's go. Yes. yes. And uh, <laughs> can I say that on TV? Sure, why, <laughs> why is the motto of Team Rubicon, uh, we do chaos? You know, listen, after 15 years of war, we have two and a half million uh, men and women who are coming back who've been doing chaos overseas in Iraq and Afghanistan, and they can still do it here at home. And Team Rubicon is a nonprofit responding to disasters all across the country and around the world, taking the skills and experiences of 32,000 veterans, retraining them for disaster response, and sending them into communities in their greatest time of need. And we do chaos. That's what we do well. What's incredible is when... when, when... <laughs> When there's any kind of disaster anywhere, Jake puts out a call for Team Rubicon, and he has thousands of veterans respond. And whether it's a hurricane on the East Coast, tornadoes in the Midwest, and these veterans come back and they start to serve again. I understand you were just helping down in South Carolina with we the were. flooding down yep, there. Yep. Thank you for that. What, um, how'd you guys get to know each other? So we got to know each other. Actually, uh, I think Jake had... Yes, yeah, so when, when we were down in Port-au-Prince, I was flying back through uh, Miami, uh, and uh, we were on a plane from Miami back to Los Angeles, 
And my, uh, one of the gentlemen that was with me, Clay Hunt, handed me an outside magazine. He pointed to this article, you know, with this, this handsome young man on it, you know, <laughs> telling this story of this guy who started, you know, an organization called The Mission Continues. And they were handing out fellowships for young uh, veterans to, to get out and, and work on these nonprofits. And so we had decided that we'd come back and we would try to get a hold of Eric, and we did, and, and uh, you know, the rest is history. Yeah. So you became a fellow through Mission Continues? Yeah, I did. I was one of the first fellows back in 2010. And did that help start Team Rubicon? It did. It was, you know, it was an important part of our history. And, and you know, uh, my, my good friend who I served with, Clay Hunt, was also a fellow. And, uh, you know, it was a tremendous experience. Eric, I understand you're now running for the governor of Missouri. I am. Okay. Yes. And uh, yes. Thank you. good luck with that. Thank you very much. Um, the mission does continue there. We it need, does. I think it would be wonderful if there are more people in government who had served in our military because they do have the training to organize and to lead people that I think we're sorely missing right now. Um, if people out there want to help with either one of your organizations, how can they do it? So for the Mission Continues, you can just go to missioncontinues.org. Okay. Go to missioncontinues.org and you can find ways to donate, to volunteer, to join us and, and help these veterans come back and serve. And Jake? And likewise for Team Rubicon, they can go to teamrubiconusa.org. We're not exclusively military veterans, so civilians can sign up, serve alongside our military veterans, you know, in their communities when they need them, and we'd love to have their support. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Jake Woods, Eric Brighton. Bye, guys. The book is called.